fight for me. His fighting style is just he comes straight forward and I fix him on style. Devastating power. My last fight was December 19th. It was a new decision. Oh, and the clash of heads. Just brutal. It was a feeling that I don't want to ever feel again. No decision. We went back to the gym and just to get better for this fight. I'm trying to make a big stick. Now that I'm fighting 12 rounds, you guys will see I get stronger as the rounds go on. I want to put on a punishing performance against him and then get the knockout later on. I feel like this is going to be my best performance. I'm ready to put on a beautiful show and get that knockout as always. It's going down, fight fans. April 10th, live on Showtime Championship Boxing. Jerome Boots Ennis takes on the Samurai. Sergey Lippinets. Video coming soon. Subscribe or else. Talk Nation. Stand up. One day, you know, uh, did what I need to do, uh, you know, just to get better and get re prepared for myself for my next fight, which is now. That's right. Hey, uh, if anyone has questions for the media, please raise your hands and I'll get to them. Um, what, uh, how was training camp? Can you just speak specifically about any preparations, anything different that you did? Um, how have the last few weeks been? Um, training camp went great. Uh, you know, same old, same old, just, you know, just preparing, you know, taking it to the next level. And uh, now uh, I had, had a new workout at my training camp, uh, the underwater treadmill. That was one of the workouts. And, you know, just, but that was about it, though. Everything else been the same, just doing a little more and, you know, preparing myself uh, for the fight. That's right. As as noted, you know, first Showtime Championship Boxing main event. Um, how, has anything felt different? Uh, how, how has that experience been for you? Uh, no, everything been, been it's like normal to me. Uh, the only thing is, it's a little bit more media, a little bit more interviews and stuff like that. But I, I don't mind it. And but everything else for the same though. You know, it's just another day in the office, another day, another dollar. Absolutely. Well, we have some more questions and some more interviews uh, coming at you right now. Uh, we'll kick it. Keith Idek from Boxing Scene. Uh, the floor is yours, Keith. Hey, Jaron. Uh I'm not sure if you saw it, but uh, Lipinets told one of my uh, my coworkers at Boxing Scene that he hopes that the fight is not a marathon. Um, I guess implying that you were going to run or something. I don't know if you said that exactly, but that it's not a marathon like the last fight was. I'm just wondering if you saw that and if, if even if you didn't, what your reaction to that is. Uh, I didn't see it, but I ain't worried about what he's talking about. At the end of the day, he still got to get in the ring with me on Saturday night. And, uh, you know... We won't see. He can talk about that marathon stuff all you want. Uh, but you, you've never done that before, so obviously that's not. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, but you know, uh, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. You know, uh, they don't know what I'm gonna bring. That's why they always say that I'm an all-around fighter. They don't know how I'm gonna fight. I can, I can fight. Uh, several different ways and that's why they always say stuff like that and or they try to say stuff like that they don't know how I'm gonna come just know they just gotta be ready Dron, winning this fight the way that you're expecting to win it what does that do for you, you know, as a former world champion and obviously the most accomplished opponent that you have faced so far what does it do for your for your career to beat him um, well I thought I do my thing on Saturday night and I do it in a, a big statement a, a high fashion uh, it's only up. It's only uh, you know, it's only on to the next bigger and better things. The elite fighters, uh, the top top three guys, and then maybe a you know world title at the end of the year. So I feel like it's gonna elevate uh, my rankings up, uh, my superstardom, and uh, just like the start of, of of me being a pay per view star and and starting Saturday night. It's only up. Thank you, John. Thank you. Thank you, Keith. Uh, next, we can go to Soichi Hayashi. Uh, you can unmute. Yes. Uh, you are afraid of the right? Oh, I'm sorry. You you say grew, that again? You grew up in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Yes. Yes, yeah, so at that town, grew up great champion were born. Joe Frazier, a team with a spoon, Bernard Hopkins, Meredith Taylor. So, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So, what is your effect, uh, influence to you, Philadelphia to you? 
Um, you you saying like what they influence to me, like the people that in Philadelphia? Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, just at the end of the day, you got uh, coming up. It's it, and you fighting on TV. You just got to you know put on for Philly and, and continue the legacy that they they uh put on. So that's my only goal is to uh, continue the legacy and and uh, do my thing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we'll go to Rick Muhammad. Hey, so what's up, what's up, champ? It's your boy Rick Muhammad, Brawler Sports Media. What's up, man? How you doing? All right, I'm blessed. Hey, based on uh, this this camp that you had preparing for Lippinets, uh, did anything change in camp? Any concerns? Anything that you may have worked on or tweaked specifically to his style of fight? Or is it just business as usual for boot tennis? You just gonna go in there, do your thing in camp, and then come out and let them have it. Yeah, I mean, you you, you put it right uh, spot on. Uh, I just do my thing, you know, go in there and just do my thing and uh, work work on the stuff that my partner had me working on and just having fun and, and making it easy. And that's that's what I that's what we worked on. Okay, now you said you do add it. Did you say you added underwater trap here? Did I hear that right? Yeah, it's, it's it's an underwater treadmill. It's it's good for your legs and your lungs and stuff like that. It's like three times a week, like pulling. It, it's it's crazy. It, it feel good. Wow, <laughs> make you I feel never, phenomenal. I I've never heard of that or seen anything like that. I bet that is like man. That's that's about as much as uh, Rocky was training on television for those fights versus all his opponents. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> but hey, man, much respect to you. Good luck to you on Saturday night. Uh, you know, I can't wait to see what's next for you. Uh, I'm sure that the uh, title fight is definitely coming your way. Patience is a virtue, brother. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Much respect. Thank you. We have a question from the chat here uh, in terms of, of how you expect to finish the fight on Saturday night. Uh, after, you know, returning, what, what do you value more, getting in rounds or, or trying to get the stoppage? I mean, well, everybody know my slogan. Uh, I'm in and out like a rivalry. But uh, <laughs> you know, the, the main goal is, you know, just to uh, be smart, uh, win, doing it in dominating fashion, and then if they're not going to come, and come. But that's definitely the goal, you know, at, uh, look good, put on a beautiful performance, and get the knockouts at the end of the night. Excellent. So next we'll go to uh, Keenan Atchison. Hey, Boots, how you doing today, man? What's up, man? How you doing? I'm good, bro. Last time out, um, you didn't get to perform all the way like you wanted to against uh, Van Heerden, uh, him being a former IBO champ. Uh, was it important for you to fight someone of Sergey's caliber and help propel, help propel you to the next level to being the contender? Um, well, like I said before, um, this is like... This, this this the person like these type of fights I've been waiting for and this the uh, guy that's gonna take me to the next level because uh, he has a uh, a good name and he he was a former world champion at 140 but um yeah that's that's it um and looking at some of his previous fights were there things that you pulled picked and pulled out of his previous fights from his opponents that they did well that you did implement into your camp and you plan to focus on during the fight. Um, well, I don't watch any tape with my opponents and stuff like that. Uh, I let my team do that, but um, they they gotta adjust to me. Flat out. Um, and if you're victorious on Saturday, what's uh what's next? You know, you get compared to Virgil Ortiz all the time. Um, what sets you apart from him? And are are you going out there and plan on having a better performance than he had the last time out against Maurice Hooker? Um, I don't worry about nobody else uh, but myself. Uh, at the end of the day, I'm going to, to have fun, do what I do, and look good doing it, and, and bring home that knockout. And but uh, just I'm I'm an all around fighter, and we just two different fighters. All right, thanks for the time, Boots, and good luck to you Saturday, man. Thank you, I appreciate it. All right, thank you. Next, we'll go to Luke Carney. How are you, Boots? How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. So, as we know, Sergey Lipinets represents the first real like step up in class for you in your career in terms of a former world champion. Just what is it about your style? Do you believe people avoid him? Do you feel like you've been avoided this far in your career? Um, well, like I always say before, I've been trying to 
get these type of guys in the ring for about two two and a half years. I've been with trying to get top guys, former world champions, top ten guys, but and it just didn't happen. Now I finally got my chance, and now y'all about to see a whole different animal, a whole different beast. And it's time for me to you know do my thing. I'm real excited. Exciting times, and in terms of. How much attention do you pay to other young up-and-coming welterweights? You know, you've got the likes of Elvis Rodriguez, Virgil Ortiz, of course, over in the UK. We've got Conor Ben and Josh Kelly. How much attention do you pay to the next up-and-coming generation that you're a part of? Um, I don't really pay attention to the you know the up-and-coming generation. I always focus on myself and how I'm a better myself, and uh, you know just stay level-headed, stay humble, and you know stay out of the way, and continue to keep uh, getting better and better each and every fight. Yeah, of course. And finally, just to finish with, you've got a lot of knockouts on your record and Sergey's got a high knockout ratio himself. It's safe to say that this fight doesn't go the distance on Saturday night? <laughs> uh, whatever y'all think. <laughs> but I know what I'm capable of and I know what I'm going to do. And, uh, just don't blink. Thanks for your time, Boots. Best of luck on Saturday night. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. That's the message. Don't blink. Saturday night, Showtime main event. Uh, we'll, we'll take a couple more questions here, and then uh, Jerron will go. Um, next question comes from Michael Rosenthal. Hey, Boots. Uh, What's up, man? How you doing? I'm doing well, thanks. Um, in terms of style, he strikes me as an aggressive guy who comes right at his opponent. Tell me if I'm wrong, but that's ideal for you, isn't it? Uh, most definitely. His style is telling me for me, him coming forward. It, Pitch it perfect for me. He's going to be running his shots all night long. It's going to be a long night for him. Fantastic. Thanks. Good luck. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And next question comes from J.R. Bell. Hey, what's going on, the Boots? What's up, man? How you doing? All good, all good. Now, I've heard from uh, trainers there in the Philadelphia area that kind of compare you to uh, Floyd Mayweather when he was starting out in his career. And you say that you've adopted yourselves from the likes of him. Roy Jones Award. Um, does that like go into how much talent that you have as a fighter? Um, I mean, I mean, you could say that, uh, but um, I, I feel like I'm different. I got my own style. Um, yeah. Now, uh, you you said and, and your father said that you don't really study your opponents and you do your own thing. Does that just go into your level of confidence once you step in the ring against your opponent? Um, it's that and, you know, like I always say before, when you're in the amateurs, you don't know who you're fighting. You can fight, you fight in the top guys for 60 days, 7 days straight, and you'll fight three tall guys one, one day, one day, I mean three tall guys back to back, and then you'll fight two short guys in the softball. So you just, you never know. And you, you got to adjust on the fly when you're the amateur. So I just took that amateur knowledge to the pro game and, you know, that's how, that's what I've been doing. And I feel like these guys in the pros, they got to adjust to me. I don't got to adjust to them. Gotcha. Now you're you're uh, ranked in the top 10 in TBRB and in, uh, you know, some other uh, bikes and publications and so is looking yet. So uh, you get this win. Do you think that you are ready to step up against the top five or get in that title shot ASAP? Uh, most definitely. I feel like uh, after this, you know, we're not looking past circuit living nets, but after this, I feel like I'll get a top five, top three guy and then uh, we're tired at the end of the year. All right. Thanks, Boots. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Next question comes from Kirk Jackson. Kirk, are you there? All right, we'll go to Sean Brown. Hello. Oh, there's Kirk. Okay. How you doing, Boos? How you doing? Doing good. I like to say it's really good watching your progression. I actually watched you in the amateurs fight in Reno back in 2015. So it's good seeing you from there to like what you're doing now. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. You're very welcome. Uh, you've been very vocal about fighting the best in the division. Uh, you've been very vocal about fighting the best in the division, which is refreshing. Um, do you realistically think that if you're able to get past Sergey Lipinets, that you'll actually get a shot against? Uh, Sean Porter, or the Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford in your next couple of fights? I mean, that's definitely the goal. Uh, hopefully I, I can, you know. Uh, if, uh, if they need a dance partner, you know, they could just call. 
Would you be open to fighting a fellow Philadelphia fighter, Danny Garcia, if that option was available? Okay, and um, lastly, do you have a preference for your, like, let's say, like your next three opponents? No, I just want to, uh, you know, focus on April 10th, do my thing, April 10th, make a big statement uh, to the boxing world in the World 2 division, and then maybe a top three guy, and then, you know, so on and so forth. All right, well, thank you. I appreciate your time. Much luck to you on Saturday. Thank you. I appreciate you. All right, Boots, we have one more question from the media. It's Sean Brown from Box Social. Hey, Jerome, how are you doing? Sam, how are you doing? Good, thank you. Um, there's been a lot of hype and expectation around you over the years, and gradually that's gotten bigger too, and it's easy to see why. Is that something that you've learned to cope with over the years, or is it just kind of came natural and you've adapted to all that expectation? I mean, uh... I guess it's just natural. I guess I just I stay in my own lane. I stay humble, you know, and focus on training and getting better each and every day. So that's how you got to be. And before Stephen Fulton fought for his world title, he talked about putting Philadelphia back on the boxing map. Is that something you're hoping to be a part of and to do as well? And is someone like Stephen? as an inspiration for you? Uh, that's definitely the goal, you know, uh, to uh, put on for Philly, you know, have more world champions in Philadelphia. You know, and I feel like we're going to have more world champions in Philadelphia around this time next year. All right, John, thanks for your time. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you to everyone who asked questions. Uh, and most importantly, thank you, Boots, for taking the time to speak to the media today. Uh, we look forward to, uh, to seeing you at the weigh-in tomorrow. And we, we look forward to even more Saturday night, 9 o'clock, main event against Sergey Lipinets. Uh, thank you. Good luck. And we'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Appreciate it. And for all the media.